Hello and welcome to ITV News Central on the programme tonight. A man whose father died from contaminated blood is now suing the government for negligence. It's not just the person that's affected, it's the, the, the family impact is, is massive. And yeah, you know, every day is uh, a sad day. Good evening. A man from Coventry whose father was a victim of what's been called the worst treatment disaster in the history of the NHS is launching a landmark legal case against the government. Jonathan Evans was among thousands who were infected with HIV and hepatitis C after being treated with contaminated blood products in the 1970s and 80s. Well now his son Jason, who was just four when his father died, is suing the government for negligence. Danny Crawshaw reports. Baby Jason. Four it's days old at seven pounds, 12 ounces. The only memory I have of him when he was still alive is the last time I ever saw him. I definitely didn't realise at that time, being so young, the, the seriousness of what was going on and certainly not that that would be the last time I'd, I'd see him. Six weeks after Jason's fourth birthday, his father Jonathan died after being infected with HIV. The 31-year-old receiving treatment for haemophilia became unknowingly infected by contaminated blood. Unbeknownst to my father, he was using these products that were sold as, you know, you can now treat yourself from home. There's no longer the need to go into hospital. And it turned out to be the biggest mistake he and all the other haemophiliacs would make in their life. More than 2,000 people have died after being infected with HIV and hepatitis C from blood treatment in the 1970s and 80s. It's known as the worst disaster in the history of the NHS. The UK imported supplies of the clotting agent Factor 8, some of which turned out to be contaminated. After two inquiries, an apology came in 2015 from the then Prime Minister, the David NHS. Cameron. And to each and every one of those people, I would like to say sorry on behalf of the government for something that should not have happened. The Department of Health says millions of pounds of compensation has been given to those still living with the consequences. Jonathan's son Jason is now taking legal action, suing the government for negligence, not just for his family, he says, but others too. The deaths of our dads have just been recorded as a lie, as a false narrative, and we, you know, won't stop until we get that truth on record. Is that a good bike? Yeah, it's very wobbly. It's nice to have the home videos that he made before he died to look back on those to see that there were some good times despite everything that happened. He says the impact of losing his father like he did has been massive and every day is a sad day without him. Danny Crawshaw, ITV News.